The AN148100, a regional passenger jet created by Antonov Design Bureau, suits operations on both domestic and international routes. The maximum flight range is between 2100 and 4400 kilometers. The AN148100 can carry up to nine tons of payload and has 75 seats in all economy layout. There are three versions of the AN148100, the AN148100A, B and E. While the payload is the same for all versions, they differ in terms of maximum range and maximum takeoff weight. The average fuel consumption ranges from 1,650 to 1,850 kilograms per hour, depending on the aircraft version and the flight mode. The aircraft can handle unpaved runways and is certified to take off and land on runways at altitudes of up to 7,200 feet. The operational temperature of the aircraft ranges from minus 55 to plus 45 degrees Celsius. AN148 navigation equipment is compliant with ICAO 3A landing category, which allows it to operate night and day on high traffic routes under harsh weather conditions. The cockpit layout and equipment are user friendly and seat the crew in comfort. It is a particularly useful function that you have the possibility to monitor the various systems of the aircraft on one screen. By shifting the frames on the screen, we can get all the necessary info on the hydraulics, air system, electrics and fuel during the flight. The most important thing is that we only see info on the screen when it's actually needed. Otherwise, it does not appear. As a high-wing jet, the Antonov 148 has certain unique advantages compared to other regional jets. This becomes clear when the plane is being manoeuvred on low-grained runways. Its high-mounted engines are well protected from the upthrust of on-ground objects. The built-in air stair brings more flexibility to the aircraft's handling, making it faster and less dependent on airport equipment. The fuselage width, passenger cabin layout and overhead bins are designed in line with the best traditions of mid-range airliners. The AN148 is a product of advanced digital engineering which made its way from blueprint to type certificate in just six years, from 2001 to 2007. The project was implemented with the aid of broad industry cooperation and its investment risk was distributed between various Russian and Ukrainian enterprises. The AN148 type certification features takeoff and landing on unpaved runways, cold soak and extreme heat testing to provide its operational capacity in a temperature range from minus 50 Celsius to extreme heat. The aircraft is certified to operate on airfields up to an altitude of 7,200 feet, while this could be extended to 13,000 feet in the near future. Thanks to the manufacturer's modern machinery and state-of-the-art equipment, the AN148-100 aircraft design features highly advanced digital technologies. This ensures high quality and improved performance of the aircraft's systems. The aircraft's design, documentation and certification all meet international civil aviation standards. The aircraft type certification was completed in 2007. The AN148 is certified according to national AP25 rules, which are in accordance with the ASA CS25 rules. We would like to present the type certificate for the Antonov 148-100 to the General Director, Dmitry Kiva. 
The manufacturing of the AN148 series is located at facilities in Kiev, Ukraine and Voronezh in Russia. The inaugural public presentation of the first series AN148 jet, manufactured in Kiev, was made at Le Bourget Air Show in 2007. Two years later, in 2009, the first Russian-made AN148 was presented at the MAX Air Show in Moscow. The aviation community has applauded this new passenger aircraft, created in the best traditions of the legendary Antonov Design Bureau. Around 150 enterprises in Russia and Ukraine collaborate in the manufacture of the AN148 series. However, some of the systems and parts are supplied by European and US vendors, making this aircraft a product of broad international cooperation. The total annual output capacity of AN148 manufacturer in Russia and Ukraine is 36 aircraft. The Antonov Design Bureau and the plant in Kiev share a common site. This means that innovative solutions created by the designers can be quickly incorporated in the manufacturing process. The AN148 series airframer in Russia uses up to 75% Russian-made components. Its machinery and engineering operate with digital models of the aircraft's components. This ensures their fine-tuning and compatibility with other parts and results in eventual cost reduction. AN148 manufacturing, sales and marketing is backed by the Russian leasing company Illusion Finance, which has developed a range of financing solutions for home operators and export crediting for foreign clients. As a leasing company, of course we are interested in acquiring aircraft with sufficient residual value, which would not limit our product options to solely financial leasing, but would also allow us to offer our partners the option of less expensive operational leasing. The leasing solutions offered by Illusion Finance are backed by an after-sales support package handled by a partner company, IFC Technic. After-sales support is provided by certified diagnostics labs and service centers based at the client's airports. AN148 flightworthiness is secured by an extended warranty system developed by Antonov and Illusion Finance. The warranty system covers the aircraft's flight performance, including the fuel burn ratio and the takeoff weights. The aircraft warranties and performance package that we have developed with Antonov make the AN148 a truly competitive product. The AN148 after-sales support system meets current international standards and ensures airworthiness during the life cycle of the aircraft. The tailor-made after-sales solutions offered by Illusion Finance have stimulated growing interest in the aircraft and have significantly increased orders. By the end of 2011, the number of firm orders and options for the AN148 had reached a total of 150 aircraft. The unique combination of performance, price and operational costs of the AN148 means that it will be in demand on Russian and foreign markets for years to come. Russia Airlines have become the launch customer for the AN148s manufactured in Russia. The airline has leased six AN148-100B aircraft with the option for another nine. The AN148 has replaced Tupolev 134 planes in our fleet. We had to find the right substitute for the aging Tupolevs. Our first requirement was that the new aircraft had to be able to cope with regular operations on both international and regional routes in Russia. The second requirement was to ensure successful operation and servicing at currently used domestic airports. The AN-148 met both of these requirements, which is the reason why we have chosen it. During 2009, Russia Airlines trained their first AN-148 crew at the Antonov facility in Kiev. Shortly thereafter, the AN-148 entered commercial service. This is a new generation of Antonov aircraft that features a glass cockpit. However, this aircraft has a classical layout with a legacy control column and throttle lever. Throughout the first stage of cockpit training, we try to make the pilot literally feel the digital controls feedback in manual mode. 
During the other stages, the pilot has to get right into the basic principles of automatic control, which initially is a quite hard task. Then the pilot is taught to stop relying on the autopilot completely and be ready to handle unforeseen emergencies that might require manual control. Along with the pilots, the airline's cabin crew and engineering staff also underwent AN148 training courses. In addition, Rossiya Airlines also introduced special training for the handling and engineering staff at the destination and transit airports. In most of our destination airports, we use the services of local ground personnel and face no problems with AN148 handling or maintenance. We think that we won't require any basic training for the airport's personnel in future and that they will manage to cope with this aircraft without it. One of the notable advantages of this airplane is that it does not require checking at the transit airports. The airline's base airport is Pulkova in St. Petersburg. Here, everything is ready to service AN148s. The warranty team, air framer and design bureau representatives, engine support staff and the spares pool. Compared to other types, the launch of the AN148 operation went quite smoothly. It's rather easy to cope with this aircraft. Everything goes quickly and is pretty painless. To date, Rossiya Airlines continues training crews for the AN148 and aims to increase the number of pilots and to have six certified crews for each aircraft. A new training facility at Domodedovo Airport has been launched to ease the airline's training programs. The training center is equipped with an AN148D level simulator and a full-scale cabin mock-up to fine-tune the aircraft's systems handling and drill the various emergency situations that may be encountered. Here using this simulator, we can provide training for most emergencies such as engine, navigation or the fire system's malfunction. This is a D-level simulator. Its cockpit has the maximum functional and visual similarities with the real one. Around 300 malfunctions and emergencies can be simulated here. When the pilots complete their training on this simulator, they are ready to undertake commercial flights on real AN-148s. In October 2009, the first AN-148 joined the fleet of its launch customer, Rossiya Airlines. The first commercial flight was made at the end of that year from St. Petersburg to Moscow. Although the initial stages of the AN-148's commercial operations have revealed some teething problems, which is quite natural for a new aircraft, those failures and malfunctions were reported to the design bureau, airframer and the vendors and corrected in a timely fashion. Some of the issues were raised at special conferences attended by all the parties involved in the aircraft's manufacture, operation, ownership and maintenance. As a result, a number of crucial directives were issued and applied to improve the aircraft's performance and safety. This approach has brought more transparency and efficiency to the AN148 type development and the after-sale support system. The revisions and improvements to the aircraft were carried out in accordance with the standards of IATA operational safety. So, in July 2011, Rossiya Airlines obtained a certificate of compliance for the AN-148 with international auditing by IOSA. This is a worldwide security standard and is mandatory for the airline's entry into the International Air Transport Association. All the changes and improvements made on the AN-148 since the beginning of its commercial operation have significantly minimized its downtime. The average for the entire fleet is around 300 flight hours per month. For some planes, this figure has reached 400 hours, which is quite impressive for an aircraft of its class. This proves that operating the AN-148 is a robust and cost-effective solution for the regional carriers. The AN-148 
has proved to be the right plane to expand the route networks of regional operators. The aircraft makes regular domestic flights to around 30 destinations in Russia and makes international flights to around five destinations in Europe. We consider the AN-148 a very successful project. What's really important is that, as a new aircraft type, the AN-148 has been widely accepted and understood by the pilots and engineers, the aviation industry's key professionals. Moreover, service providers, airports and passengers have a very positive attitude as well. It's a very fine and modern jet, a user-friendly aircraft, outstanding, comparable to the very best. Antonov-148 devoted to tradition, striving for excellence.